Yeah, <clears throat> I sure hate to do that, but you know what? It is what it is. Eating all my plants. Hey, y'all. <laughs> Rural readiness here. So, <clears throat> I'm on a mission to uh, save my pepper uh, plants and my my bell pepper and my uh, jalapeno pepper and my strawberries <clears throat> so I showed you the little bug that was um, squirming with the seven dust those are little black crickets with a red stripe on them so they have about demolished my hot pepper and bell pepper plants so I'm trying to um, see if I can save them um, and at this point I'm using seven dust um, to see if that will work <clears throat> and as you saw by the little clip that I put in there it seems to be working if it's on the bug all right I don't know if it's going to keep them away I hope it does <laughs> absolutely anyway <clears throat> I'm gonna show you my garden and um, where I'm at with it and it's not the greatest but trying to balance work and everything else has proven to be difficult for me at this time um, um, hopefully I will be finished with this exam um, and pass it on the first try let's let's hope so um, sorry I'm all nasty and sweaty but um, you got to put the work in if you want the benefit um, so <laughs> I'm gonna do this video and then I'm going to take a shower and cool off okay Just saying. Um, so I'm gonna take you around and show you what I got and then I'm going inside to cool off and get a shower and pardon all the weeds but it is what it is all right so here we go okay so <clears throat> this is what I got this is my raised bed that I that I got Josh to help me put in and <clears throat> I planted my tomatoes and cucumbers and some squash and zucchini in there and we've got to put another panel up for the cucumbers to climb on but the tomatoes are doing well <clears throat> so these are the tomatoes and I've gotten I've got little 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 tomatoes they're doing they're doing fabulous and they're not even tied to the panel yet I will get to that eventually um, they're just kind of looped through there um, have a few little tomatoes on here <clears throat> and those of you that have that have that are on the server I've sprinkled seven dust all over my tomatoes I haven't seen any of those little bugs on my tomatoes but just in case uh, hopefully they won't attack my tomatoes <clears throat> anyway so those of you that are on the server know about the mortgage lifter tomatoes and <clears throat> I have entered the running for the mortgage lifter <laughs> tomatoes. 
you know, these little, I've planted some seeds in here so they are sprouting. <laughs> I've got way too many in each of these containers, but hopefully the strongest one out of each one, uh, I will take the rest out and only keep the strongest. And then the strongest out of all four of those will be the one that I take, that I keep the seeds from. So, um, those are, those are my, those are my mortgage lifter tomatoes. Look out 3D and look out Oxjaw and <laughs> look out Preparex. Um, I'm, I'm coming at you, I'm coming at you. Yeah, yeah. So, I've got them just in the little containers so they can get to getting. <clears throat> so, my cucumbers are doing well, um, and I've put seven dust on them as well. Now, the way that I've got the panel constructed down the middle of the bed, let me show you. The way that I've got the panel constructed down the middle of the bed, I'm just going to extend the panel out to go to the next section for the cucumbers. <clears throat> and the cucumbers will be able to climb on the panel as well. I didn't want to kind of loop it over because I wouldn't have a way to get in it from this side and in it from that side and I didn't want to do it this way so I just decided to stand it up down the middle of the bed and that that I think that's going to work well <clears throat> so let me let me bring you on down here so you can see So let me see if you can see this or not. These, these are what is eating my, my vegetables. This is what is eating my vegetables. That's it right there. That's it. Those little suckers are voracious and they eat everything. I'll show you what they did to my peppers. So here is the Die, you little bastard. <clears throat> Alright. So, here's what I have left of my bell pepper and jalapeno peppers. See if I can get you in close. So <clears throat> the leaves are all gone and I'm hoping that I can save them and then these are this is the last section of the bed and I've got two yellow squash and two zucchini And then over here, I've got planted in the ground the squash 
and they seem to be doing okay. I didn't want to put them all in the bed, so I'd run out of room. <clears throat> but I put seven dust on all them. And cantaloupe and watermelon. Now, I don't necessarily eat a lot of cantaloupe and watermelon, but I have freeze-dried cantaloupe and watermelon, and it is fantastic. Um, so, it's like a candy. So, on the trellis over there, I've got planted be uh, beans, green beans, but they haven't come up yet, so I'm waiting on those. And then these are the walking onions, um, Egyptian walking onions. <clears throat> they come back every year. So these were actually planted and went away and now they're coming back. And they'll put off little runners from the the bulb part and they'll just keep moving. Yep. So I got two more uh, red bell pepper and put them over here to see if I could possibly um, keep the bugs off of them. And then I've got cantaloupe and watermelon up there. And then over here, these are raspberry plants. So this is actually the raspberry plant from that I brought from Tennessee. It made it through the winter. And uh, I'm freaking proud of it. Yep. Ooh, Callie. <clears throat> There's another one from Tennessee. And then in this bed, I've got the strawberries and those little black cricket things were all over them. So I put seven dust on them to see if I can keep them off. Where are you going? This is my herb bed. Um, this is oregano, sage, thyme. And then I've got one little thing of chives over here. And it actually has a bloom already. <clears throat> yep. It's the only group. This is Johnson grass. Yeah. Anyway, it's the only group of chives that survived. The rosemary. I think that's rosemary. Rosemary and thyme. And the oregano took over this bed and it never went away in the winter <clears throat> so yeah these are blueberries from Tennessee that actually made it through the winter um, so I've planted them in this bed to see if they'll continue to prosper and then this is this catastrophe right here is my asparagus bed and I haven't been able to get the grass cut in it so I'm going to cut it all down and leave it for another year and see what happens um, because it's not producing like it needs to and this is my walkway in between the areas all right so that's my little um, update on what I've got going on in the garden 
and I think Josh did a fabulous job on this bed. <laughs> Hopefully it'll help with the weeds and keep them, keep them going or keep them down. But when my mortgage lifter tomatoes get up big enough to transplant, I'll bring you back and let you see how that goes and uh, we'll see how it develops. So that's it for me and until next time, I'll see you later.